Hey guys, today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install Pixel Experience ROM along with Root and along with Google Pixel 3 camera and also MUI camera. Let's go ahead and take a look. Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install the Pixel Experience ROM on your Xiaomi Mi 9. Hi guys, so first thing you'll need to do is unlock the bootloader. Uh, if you haven't done that, it actually takes about two weeks. You have to wait two weeks after you first sign into the phone. Um, so if you haven't done that, obviously go unlock the bootloader. And also you need to install Twerp Recovery. Now, if you follow my root tutorial, that will show you how to install Twerp Recovery. Um, you don't actually have to root your phone. Um, since we'll be installing a new custom ROM, which will wipe everything. Um, but go ahead and do that. Unlock your bootloader and um, just root it. Follow the root instructions, all right? That way you know how rooting also works. So once you have done that, you should have Twerp installed and your phone should be completely back to uh, complete fresh welcome, which we're gonna wipe anyway. All right, um, and I'll show you how to back up uh, current stuff if you already have stuff. Uh, running. You can go ahead and use Titanium Backup app to back up your apps and uh, you can go ahead and restore that. The first thing you're going to do is download a bunch of files. Uh, go to highonandroid.com, go to the page how I converted $400 Xiaomi Mi 9 into a Pixel 3. That's my last uh, video I made and I'll post also this video on this page. And you'll find um, actually the whole instructions here on the steps, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to do it uh, as a, you know, how to do it with the video here. Um, so you should have step one, unlock the bootloader and root, follow that link. And then um, next, you're going to need to um, download all these files before you do it. So go ahead and get the firmware. All right, go ahead and click there. Now, all, the, all of the download links are at the bottom where it says, uh, please wait five seconds and it will should turn to click here to download. Don't click on the ads and go ahead and click on here to download. And that will download all the, all the files. All right. And uh, that will download the file into your downloads folder. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cancel since I already downloaded it. Um, also, you will need to grab the ROM and this will um, get you to the XDA page. Now the ROM uh, gets updated every uh, few days or every week. So you can check here to get updates. Now, if you go here, download for Pixel Experience Cepheus, you'll go to the download page for the ROM. All right, don't forget to hit thank you for the, um, the XDA developer who have Develop this ROM for this particular Mi 9 device. Um, so you can download the latest version. The one, the one I actually got is this one here. Just go ahead and click it and that'll download it. Um, now go ahead and make sure to thank the XA user Mark Akash. Uh, thanks to him. He's actually, I, he actually DM me on um, XDA and he told me that he's actually working on a more stable version. So I'm gonna go ahead and test that next. Um, but for right now, go ahead and um, download the version on here, all right, since that one's not um, official yet. All right, go ahead and download ROM. You will also need Majisk, all right, click there and go ahead and download the Majisk. And also, you'll need the Pixel 3 camera, click on there. Also, same thing, um, go to the down here and click where it says download, click here to download. Don't click on the ads. All right, and also you will need the camera. The uh, If you want movie camera, um, so you can use all three len uh, lenses, um, go ahead and download that. All right, once you have downloaded all those files, um, if you do open up your uh, file app, oops, you should have Pixel Experience, the ROM. Um, you should have the firmware, which is V9 Global V9.5.30 vendor fwflash.zip, you should have the MGC blah blah dot APK, which is the Google camera. And also you should have Majisk V19.3. And also you should have the ANX camera Unity blah 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 dot zip, which is the movie camera. Now, if you have all of these and you have uh, unlock your bootloader and install Torp recovery, uh, which you get when you root it, um, you should be ready to go. The next thing we're gonna do, we're just gonna go ahead and power off. And we're gonna go into uh, boot into Torp Recovery, which is our custom recovery that allows us to install custom ROM. So to get into it, you're gonna hold down uh, volume up, volume up, and the power for about one, two. Oh, after it powers up, one, two, three, four. Four seconds should be enough. Four or five seconds, you can let go of the buttons and boom shaka, lock up. You should be in Team Win Recovery. 
All right, you may have to enter your pattern uh, if you set the um, your set code. Um, I usually recommend to turn everything off. I just forgot to do it for this video, but that's what I would actually recommend doing. Um, next, you're going to go ahead and um, do a wipe. Now, before this, if you want to back up anything, you can go to backup and choose a, a system boot data. And you can go ahead and um, set a name, maybe current date or something. And also, you can even set a password. So if people steal your backup file, um, it's password protected. And go ahead and swipe. And, and later, you can go ahead and restore it. Now, installing a ROM doesn't involve wiping everything on your phone, but it will erase all of your settings, apps, apps data, um, but it's not going to touch the internal storage such as your personal files, uh, personal photos, personal videos. But I still recommend you to back up everything. You can just copy it over to your computer before doing that. All right, to install a ROM, it's very, very simple. Um, you're going to do a wipe. Go to advanced wipe. You're going to go ahead and wipe Dalvik cache system and data. Make sure it's exactly like that. Don't delete internal storage. That's going to erase everything. This will erase um, the current operating system. All right. Once that's wiped, we're going to go ahead and hit the home button, go to install and go ahead and install the actual Oh, actually, we're going to go ahead and install the firmware, the Mi 9. This is the important part. If you don't flash this firmware and then install the ROM, you might end up in a boot loop or your camera wouldn't work. This actually happened to me and I couldn't use the camera for like a day. And somebody on XDA helped me out. So thanks again um, to the guy who helped me out. So you're going to confirm and this will flash the firmware, the latest V9.5.30. And this is also compatible with this ROM. So I do recommend flashing this. Um, once this is flashed, very important, we're gonna we're not gonna do a complete wipe. We're only gonna wipe cache and then we're gonna install the ROM. That will allow you to um, use a camera and also will boot the ROM. If you don't do these steps, if you you know if you just install the ROM, um, you may end up in a boot loop uh, or, or in my case, I actually got it to boot, but the camera didn't work. And then somehow it messed up and then I couldn't even get it booting. And it was like a headache for a whole day. So it took me quite a while to get this right because a lot of this is beta stuff. And, you know, developers, um, uh, sometimes they don't, you know, they're, they're still developing. Um, so, yeah, this is a sure method that it will boot the first time. All right. Um, I had it. I have for some reason I had an automatic boot. I'm going to actually back to cancel. All right. Once that's installed, um, you're going to go to wipe. Go to advanced wipe and you're going to wipe cache, which is just temporary storage. All right. And then you're going to go back home. You're going to install the pixel experience ROM, the pixel experience, blah, blah, dot zip. And also, yeah, make sure this is turned off. I had that on. And once you turn it on, it will default uh, to turn it on. That's what happened. So I'm going to install the pixel experience ROM. Now you don't need G apps for pixel experience ROM. G apps comes with the ROM, uh, which is very nice. And after this, we're going to go ahead and install Majisk, uh, which will give us root. And also, if you want that uh, MIUI camera, my UI camera, whatever you want to call it, um, you will need Majisk. So I do recommend installing Majisk. Um, if you absolutely don't need root and you don't need a MUI camera, then you can go ahead and skip um, the Majisk part. Now, the screen may go off time to time. You just hit the power button and swipe to unlock. Now, this has installed the ROM. It should boot, um, but we're going to go ahead and install Magisk. So we have root. So go to install and you're going to find Magisk um, zip. Go ahead and flash. This will give you full root on the ROM. All right. The ROM doesn't come with root. Some ROMs do come with root, but this particular one, you'll have to also install a uh, Magisk after. And once that's done, go ahead and hit the home button. And I think we're ready to go. Rest, we're going to be able to install it once it boots. So reboot system, hit do not install, and let this sit for a little bit here. Um, it should take anywhere from a minute. Sorry guys, my camera ran out of battery, so we lost about 10 seconds. It actually took about like 20 seconds to boot to this screen. Once you see this boot screen, you should be good to go. Um, but we'll go ahead and let it um, go a little further here. And yeah, while this is going, we can go ahead and do a commercial here real quick. Uh, I got this new awesome case. It's a thin case. 
Um, these can also protect your phone if you don't want a case, but you want it, you know, you still want some kind of protection. Um, get a thin case. At least this will keep your phone um, sort of. Oh, it booted. Boom shakalaka. Um, it's a really nice case. This is for the Pixel 3 XL, and I got it. I really like these cases. All right, when that's done, we're going to go ahead and. Uh, it's still using my lock, but you can see I it should just go to welcome screen. Um, but it does keep your pass uh, code if you um, were if you had it running before. So once you're here, go ahead and sign in. Go ahead. And, I'm gonna just go ahead and skip through everything. Shanghai. No, oh, I'm not in Shanghai. So when you buy a phone from uh, uh, China through eBay, you're gonna default to Shanghai. <laughs> or this phone probably was selling in Shanghai or something. All right, uh, fingerprint sort of works. So I don't write you, the setup works, but it doesn't really work. I do recommend using the face unlock. All right, when this is done, when you have booted, congratulations, you have booted. And you should have seen Mag Magisk Manager app. Go ahead and open it. And you will see that um, if you don't get errors up here, you should be good to go. Let me connect to the internet because it needs it. And I've connected to the, make sure you connect to the internet first. That way it will show you. Um, safety net does not pass, did not pass. It still doesn't pass. It's a problem with Magisk. Eventually the developers will sort it out, but for right now it doesn't pass. Um, so when that's done, Magisk is running. If you want the open camera, go ahead and open the files. And you should have downloaded, uh, you should have downloaded the the Google camera with the NGC. Go ahead, and hit open, continue, install, and that's pretty much it. There are some various settings you'll have to mess with, but let's see if your camera is working. You should be good to go. Yes, camera is working. The ROM booted. Boom shakalaka. It looks easy, but the first time I did it, it just took me days because. You know, you have to install that firmware and install over it without a complete wipe. I guess it's because it's this ROM still uses some of the um, stock uh, files, uh, basically parts from the original firmware. So that's why you install over it. Um, you can go into settings and um, you will want to go into advanced. And there is some some additional settings. Sorry, it's down here. Um, where is it? So there's some additional settings that you'll have to do to enable the third camera. But by default, it still gives you two cameras. You're going to have to hold down on this. Oops. No, oh, you're going to have to set that up. So front works, back works. Let me go back in the settings here. Um, so go into settings, go into auxiliary camera switch method. I do recommend um, doing a cycle or long press. If you do cycle, it should just cycle through. One, two. So you got the zoom camera, and then you got the front camera, and then you got the regular camera, you got the front camera, and then you got the zoom camera. All right, you're gonna have to mess with the settings. Um, I, You know what? All right, go into settings and go into auxiliary switch method. All right, go into settings, go into auxiliary uh, camera switch method, go ahead and do the long press. And also, um, you can go ahead and enable Oops, go back to settings. You can go ahead and also enable the use third back lens. That will give you three cameras. And now you have regular camera. If you hold down, it's gonna give you a wide angle. And if you hold it again, it's gonna go regular. Now, if you turn this off, uh, it's gonna give you the other two cameras. So now I got regular and I should have zoom. I'm trying to figure out how to get all three cameras working without going into settings, but for right now, um, that's what it is. But you, your night sight should be working, which is the, probably the most important part of this. Um, and it's working very good. All right. And also, um, if you want to install the MUI camera, so you get the stock camera experience, you can go into Magisk Manager, go into uh, settings here, of uh, the, the menu button, and then go to modules. And you're going to go ahead and click add and hit allow. And you're going to go ahead and go to your downloads folder. And you should see that ANX camera utility, blah, blah, dot zip. All right. And this will install 
the camera as a module. You will have to reboot, but once rebooted, you will have full MUI camera. All right, go ahead and hit reboot. And like I was telling you guys, I'm really starting to love these thinner cases. Um, minimal protection, I mean, there's still some good protection. Um, I feel like it's, I, I don't know, I've been using these bulky cases and, you know, th this one's not bulky, but I have the new ones that I got in uh, the sub cases and I don't know, they start getting way too bulky for me. So I'm sort of going back to thinner cases now. Um, all right, when that's done, you'll have a new camera called Annex Camera. Open that up and you will have stock camera experience and that will complete, pretty much complete our mod. Oh, what happened? And boom shock all out. Go. All right, so you got regular, zoom, and wide. When you need to use a photo or video with all three lenses, you can go ahead and open up this camera to take full advantage. All right, and everything works except for portrait mode. Uh, sometimes, well, sometimes it can force close. Like the short video doesn't work. I don't know what it is. I don't really use it. I know what it is. It's a short video. I don't. I don't really recommend it. Also, you can do 960, 120, 240, all that good stuff. Um, also, if you want to get rid of the notch, you're going to go ahead and go into settings here and go into about phone. Um, go ahead and go into build number, hit it a bunch of times until it says you're a developer. You're a developer. Congratulations. And then go back to system, go into advanced, go to developer options. And here you can go ahead and um, enable some of these stuff. Now, let me give you some recommended settings for faster experience. Um, animation scale, I usually just set this to 0.5. Just having animation, it, it just slows down your experience. There's no need to keep it at 1x. If you completely turn it off, it's, it's sort of a bad experience because it's not recommended. Um, small width, I like to, if you, if you wanna, you know, if you wanna change the DPI, um, basically makes everything smaller or everything bigger. I recommend 420 for this phone and then makes it a little bit fit more stuff and I like this and also you could do um, You could do double cuts. Oops Tall cuts. Oh, that looks terrible. All right. Sorry the the settings is actually you don't have to go in here um, But there's a bunch of stuff you can mess with here. That's pretty much all I mess with the DPI would be good um, just look for notch. There's a notch. Notch behavior. Uh, because this is a pixel experience ROM, you actually have uh, the notch and you can go ahead and hide it. And I, I hide it because I don't like I don't like it on. So it makes it look clean. That's pretty much it. Yogi Nula. Guna Casio.